God dang, then I wonder what the heck horror is going to be like. Are you opening all the dark reaches of your heart? Holy shoot, that's deep. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. Wait, horror! Oh my gosh, she is probably going to be the freaking creepy pervert lady who's going to cut my hair at the middle of the night. But if the story makes me think, or takes me to another world, and I can re I, and, and, uh, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often a very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh. Ugh. Me. Caveman. Me. Sundare. I hate horror. Oh? How's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes darts over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? Nani? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. Oh god, she has the fang. She has the fang. God dang it. Noble would shiver that I forgot what the heck this is called. God dang it. And give that back. Fine. Fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your palms, everything about- everything you do is just as cute as you are. No! I mean, seriously, what- what about her is cute? I mean, this thing, this, this way that your hair is going, it gives me like the most, basically it's this little hair thing that gives me like the most anxiety about you. Mixed in with your pigtail. I think it's a pigtail. Yet again, ignorance is bliss, guys. But not everything can be so blissfully unaware. Sayori Sidles? Siddles. Sidles? We'll go with slides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulder. I'm not cute! <laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh. Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? Wait, you were denying it like... Well, I guess you weren't technically denying it, but you were... Forget it! I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Not to mention you're all part of a literature club and you're, you would probably criticize the amount of literature being written in these poems. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. God dang, then I wonder what the heck horror is going to be like. Are you opening all the dark reaches of your heart? Holy shoot, that's deep. Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to express hers. Yes, I'm changing shares to express, okay? Okay, yeah, be happy! Besides, she's the shy one. I highly doubt that she'd be like, yeah, see? Exactly my point. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. You're gonna make us write something, aren't you? Now, Suki and Yuri look quiz... Quizzically? At Monaco. Quizzically! That's a new one. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. See, I've been around the block! Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. I wonder if the main character actually found out that he is now a member of this team. 
He, he may not have realized it, but he's already a member. Um... I did it a deer. Yeah! Let's do it! Let's party! I hate you, Sayori, but I also kind of love you. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of our club. Isn't that right, Crow? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, Boatling Come Forth was on my mind the entire time. Now you're just being mean! I I never said that I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. This is why you just shut up and go with the flow, my dude. Like, don't you, don't you know? Never. Especially when, when like, you actually like one of them. I mean, look, they, they've all relatively, like, been relatively nice to you, and you go and you do this to them. Of course they're gonna look at you with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... <clears throat> Bro... You... you all... I'm defenseless against these girls! How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? You don't! You were trapped since the moment you stepped foot in! Don't you know this? That is, if writing poems is the prize I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Don't touch me! Hey! You really did scare me for a moment. You like horror. That shouldn't surprise you. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Looks away with sweat drop coming down forehead. And that makes it official. Well, where's the paperwork? That makes it official! Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we all can share. Monica looks over at me once more. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, so he's not feeling too enthusiastic about this as well. Everywhere I look, people want to know. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I try! I already feel the anxiety rolling up against me. Oh, you mean the anxiety that you shouldn't be in this game to begin with because of the previous warning? Yes, I'm gonna go back to that. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Uh, that's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for gloves. Yeah, might as well. Yeah! With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Well, I'd be really happy spending every day after school in a literature club. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow close to one of these girls. Okay, first of all, that was basically the setup to god dang visual novels. Visual novels is all about getting close to like one girl and sometimes all the girls. 
I mean, there are some guy ones too. Where like, you play like a girl and then you try to get the guys. Or you're a guy and you try to get the guys. And then there are girls who try to get girls. And you know, it's, it's all over the place, okay? Like, you can basically, there, there's, if you like something, there's a visual novel for it. I just don't happen to be playing, like, one that's probably psychological horror. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances. I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. What? Pick words you think your favorite club members will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes it. Destiny. Destiny bubbles incongruently I'm okay, so I, I was thinking that like anytime I hovered over a word, one of these people would move. Okay. Time. Time, comfort, passion. And then, like, there's this word! But again, I wasn't reading every single one of them. And I'm just gonna start choosing words I like. Infinite. What is this? Vivacious. 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 Hold up. I wanna know what that word means. Okay, especially of a woman, attractively lively and animated. Okay, so that's what that means. I like imagination. And there's Inferno. Is there like a dark one in every single one? Oh, I kind of like Vertigo. Vertigo is a nice word. Go with smile. I like smiles. I like fluffy things. Oh, broken is in there. I wonder if there's like a bad one in every single one. Hold up. Clouds, raindrops, saying ambient. Da 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 da. Oh, there's not a bad one in every single one of them. We'll go with ambient. So wait, when I pick one, do they jump for joy? If it's like the one that they like? Hold up. I wasn't paying attention to the girls, so... I'll be stronger. Okay, so it seems like anything to do with the senses might be her. I'm gonna think that expressions are her, and then anything relatively cute might be Sayori. We got four chances at this, so I'm gonna go with Sensation. She's jumping for joy. Uh go with sadness. Apparently you like that. Judgment, she likes that. I'm trying to figure out what you would like. After image. You like that. 
You know, I'm gonna have to watch this back and see what my... My thing's actually... What about chocolate? Okay, apparently she likes chocolate.